Hey, how's it going there today? Um, we have Chance. He's an eight month old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And I'm gonna put him through a few of his paces. We are in um, obedience, beginner's obedience off. Um, we are working on his jumping. And like I said, he is um, eight months old. We picked him up in central Illinois in November. And um, we're having lots of fun with him off. Okay, so he sees something in my hand, so I'll get the treats out of my hand. Okay, first of all, he already knows what we're gonna do. When we are asking our dog to sit, we say the command once, and then we gently guide him into it. Okay, chance. So we're gonna get you to stand and guide him into a sit, just like Easy. Just like this. And say sit. Good boy. And then after a while, it'll start to look like when he's not tangled up. Can't sit. Good sit. Get close. Good boy. Sit, stay. You stay. This is what we're working on. You stay. Good stay. Put a light pressure straight out and um, he resists a little bit that means we want him to stay right where he is when we're working on that just little bit by little bit a little tug try to get close no off and he has what dog doesn't get tangled up all the time off is the towel confusing you? Well, let's go like this. Around, around, sit. Good boy. I need to see that. Maybe I'll do it the other way. Wait. So I've got two treats, two little pieces of cheese. The towel's there so he doesn't slip. Chance, around. And he gets the other cheese around, sit, nice and square. Good boy, good sit. Good boy. Now we're going to do a couple healing practices. You have to be firm and you have to say it once. And this cute jumping up isn't cute when they start to get a little bit older and there's little kids running down in the, in the yard where you are. Off. So what we're doing to combat his jumping up, sit. Every time he jumps, I tell him to sit and I reward him. Every time we come home from work, sit and reward him. What I notice he's doing now is just jumping up. Oh, see, he knows to sit. He'll jump up, but he won't make contact. Just like that, that's okay. That is okay. We don't mind that. It's when they're jumping up on us, and sometimes their little nails are sharp, whether you clip them or not. All right, we're gonna do a couple heel sessions. I can't really see their pen yet. Okay, we're gonna go further up. I'm gonna walk out of the picture and then back into the picture. Chance heel. Can you see that? No, you can't. Oh, okay. Heel, 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 heel. Good heel. Did you see that? So Sue, pay attention. Because <laughs> Audrey will end up looking like this with your training and your guidance, I know she will. Get close. 
down, sit, down, okay, and then take your, as soon as he takes his nose away from it, good down. Because I don't want to reward him while he's rooting, because he does that quite often. Front. He's a little rat. He has his working collar on, so I don't want him to pull on it himself. That's not what we want to do. Where are we going here? Right here. Let's get close. See how fast he gets into. You stay. You stay. I am going to drop the leash. Sit, stay. You stay. I'm going to maybe count to 15. We're going to gradually work our way up, but today we're just going to 15 because I know that's where he won't move. Good, sit, stay. And then I don't get them all excited for the next one. So what we're going to do is have them stand. Stand. Sit. Stand. Sit. Good. So what we're doing there, I made him stand where he was sitting. And his front feet aren't supposed to move. I know, honey. Stand, good boy. Sit, stand, no. Oh. Stand, not with the front feet. There you go. Once he starts to get it, I reward him. And then after he gets it, if he does it sloppy, I make him do it again. Get close, good boy. Um, and what I've have a bad habit of doing is going like this confuses my dog so I need to stand straight chance off closer wait heel 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 closer closer ah heel <laughs> and that's enough for today but I keep my treats in my pocket out of hand or in my mouth where he doesn't anticipate which hand it's coming from. Mm, I know. Sometimes I eat it. <laughs> where are you? Let's go right here. We're going to do focus. I'm going to bring you in closer. Sit. Put my hands behind my back. If he breaks his... Um, concentration and focuses back on me, on my eyes, then I reward. As soon as I get that back, I reward. And he knows what hand it's coming for, coming from, so he anticipates. That's why I have both hands behind my back. And see, I'm going to reward with this hand now for a while. He'll gaze towards my right, and then he'll look at me again. Good, good focus, good boy chance. Okay, good boy, off, off. Get close, closer, oh. Chance, over here and sit. Get close. Might have been just out of frame. Heel. Heel. Good boy. And that's it for today. I hope that's been helpful for anybody that's trying to train their dog. We are going to professional training because it's worth it. Have a great day.